And what do you think are some of the mistakes that a new gardener can make that you probably made every mistake, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, I've made them all, and I, I'm still finding some new ones, too, so hang in there if you want to make new ones. One of the largest mistakes that I used to make and that I see commonly in, in where I work constantly is people do not let their pots dry enough. They're const it's too much love. That's the big mistake. <laughs> you know, I, I watered them yesterday. I'm going to water them again today because I want to... No, you 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 gotta you gotta have a little bit of more feel for them sometimes intuition looking at them, but that's a very very common mistake. Overfeeding is another common mistake. I mean, yeah, great, use the nutrients, guys, because I want to sell them to you. But you know, there's a point where where you know it just becomes destructive. But I would say overfeeding, <clears throat> overwatering, and uh, yeah, just overly fussing around with stuff. So I guess. Out of any of this and all of this, guys, the most important thing that I, I, I really had have to tell you right now is don't be afraid of this. Jump in with both feet. It's not a big deal. It, the rewards will just be outrageous. Don't be afraid of it. Don't let all the things with pH, PPM, and all these different products you see on the shelf get you scared. It's, it's not a big deal. You can come in and see me anytime. I'll walk you through the darn thing. Write me, Brock Hughes at Gmail. Anytime you have any questions pertaining to hydroponics or the hydroponic products that we sell here, write me. That's real simple. Uh, so, you know, don't be afraid to get going because there's always somebody to help you. And, and I'm telling you right now, straight up, I'll give you a hand anytime. You got any gardening questions for me, I'll take my time for you. Other than that, I'd say that's a wrap, guys. Mm -hmm.